Welcome to LS Express Start. Now I will show you how to set up the system and start selling. An important warning, before you proceed, you must have already completed the setup of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for financials. During this walkthrough, we will use items, balance account numbers, payment methods, tax areas, general business posting groups, and customer posting groups. If you have not completed the Dynamics 365 for financial setup, please stop and complete it before you proceed. Okay, are you ready to go? Click on the three dots icon, scroll down and select Assisted Setup and Tasks. Start by setting how many point of sale devices you intend to run. Please note, for every single device, you need one Dynamics 365 for financials user. Choose a valid email address. We will send information about your license and all communications from LS Retail to this address. You must create at least one staff member profile. Choose a staff ID you will remember as you will need it later to log into the system. You can add a password too if you wish. Many staff members can share the same device, so you can have more staff members than points of sale. Don't worry about adding all your staff members now. You can always create more later. Now you need to define a point of sale customer profile. This is essentially a profile connected to sales tax and posting setups. In LS Express Start, you can create generic customer profiles, which you will use for groups of customers who share the same sales tax setup. If you want, you can also create profiles for specific customers. This is a great way to keep track of sales history or for marketing campaigns. Let's create a generic retail customer. This is a general profile that you can use for all POS transactions that are not attached to specific customers. Choose a tax area code. If you want the system to apply tax, check the tax liable box. The tax will then be calculated based on the tax area selected. If you uncheck the box, no tax will be applied. As you can see, the tax areas, general business posting group, and customer posting groups are already set. That's because we created them beforehand in Dynamics 365 for financials. In this window, you set up possible payment methods. Cash payment is included by default, but you can add more options. Let's create the option to pay with a voucher or store credit. Once we have added this method of payment, we need to link it to a general ledger account. This will simplify your accounting. If you want, you can add more payment methods later on. That's it. LS Express Start is set up. Now we need to change the role center. LS Express Start has added a new role center to your profiles list. All actions related to the point of sale are run from the LS Express Start role center. So every user that is going to run the POS must select this role center. So let's take a look. Once you have closed the assisted setup, you need to change the role center so you can start using LS Express Start. Tap on your name to enter the settings window. This is where you can change your basic settings. Select the role center and change it to LS Express Point of Sale Sales Associate. And that's it. Now you simply need to sign out and sign back in and the role center will change automatically. So let's do it. Now we are in the LS Express Start role center. To start using the POS, click on the orange point of sale icon and log in with a staff ID. These are the IDs that we created earlier in the assisted setup. This is your POS. If you have already set up your items in the system, you can start selling them immediately. In this demo, we have set up a furniture store, so let's sell some chairs. Open the blue All Items tile and search for Chair. All your items with chair in their name will appear. You can view the items in a different layout by clicking on the icons on the top blue ribbon. Now let's add some chairs to the cart. The counter at the top of the page, just below the blue ribbon, keeps track of how many items you have selected. We have three chairs. Now let's sell them. Click on the arrow on the top left to go back to the POS. To close the sale, you must choose a payment method. Click on the green tile on the right. Here you can find all the payment methods that were created in the assisted setup. You can select which type of view you prefer. Let's choose cash payment. Once you enter the paid amount, the sale is finalized. The system tells you how much change to give the customer. And that's it. Now you can choose to email the receipt or print it, or just close the sale and start a new one. It's that easy. For more information on LS Express Start, click on the following links. <music>